I mean, everything to me. Um, it, was, it, was, it was worth the wait. Uh, Rangers was the only club I wanted to play for. Once I, I knew Rangers were um, I want me to sign here, there was no competition. If you look at, uh, at players around Britain at the present moment, the, the fees are escalating. It's, good. Uh, it's, it's not really anything that uh, we've got great control over if we have to pay the market price. We've been prepared to do so in the past. I don't think his age comes into it. It's his ability that matters, and uh, we're confident that his ability will match the fee. It's a lot of money, yeah, but um, I think Rangers will get the reward for it now, in years to come. If I can say you, Duncan, obviously you had troubles off the park when you were at Tandice at home in Stirling and all that. Now you're the, the most headline man in the country, just about. Are you going to, be able to cope with that? Well, I've, I've coped all right so far. Obviously, I've not, been, I've not played for four months. But um, I, I think I'll be able to cope with it. What's it like to, to be sent to attraction like that? I don't know. I don't know. There's kind of much sent to attraction with Koist about here. I think last year, Mark and I definitely needed somebody who, who would play, come in and do and spell us. And uh, albeit fair, will be given his chance probably at the start of the season. So I'm certainly looking forward. It's another challenge. He's got a confidence about him that you certainly need to have. And I think um, if he's willing to learn and listen, which I'm sure he will, we will do. Um, I think he could turn into one of the great Rangers players. Did you feel it was a threat to you as social convener at Ibrox and Simon? Ah, he's too young. He's too inexperienced, chick. You know, he's come from the sort of the, the, the farms that in Stirling when he's come into the big smoke. He just can't handle the pressure. Well, we'll see how he gets on. No, I'm not, I think nothing uh, too much pressure yet. But obviously, once you start playing, I think uh, if he's a couple of games didn't go your way, you know, he'll be calling you the four million flop and all this get on. But I'm just going to go out and play my game. Isn't it? I mean, Rangers paid me for what they, what they saw, not for the price. But um, I'm just going to go out and, and just learn it. There's no question you think about that turning your bed at night. Oh, it goes through your head, you know, what, what the headlines could be in my first game and that maybe I miss a couple of chances and that. But you've just got to get in there and, and, and show what you're worth. And I, I, think, I think I can do it. The £4 million man recalls one special moment last season. It was for Scotland, ironically enough, at Ibrox, and he knew after the German game that he was on his way. That game really sold me, you know, there was a lot of pressure on me that night. I mean, if I had a, if I had a bad game, I probably would have been even transfer. But, um, I, I had no bad game that night and... I got my move in the end, you know. It was all worth it. Now for Duncan, it's simply a question of applying the accelerator in the hunt for a first-team place at Ibrox. You get well looked after here, you know. This, when I come here, you get a big car, man. It's a big difference from my wee fiesta. But um, you just got to try and, and take it in your stride and, and get on with it.